Smart J in your area. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. It is a pleasure for me to be here and address the listeners of my race. So, talking about the consequences of COVID-19 on mental health and human social life, most of people have indicated the antisocial issues. Hmm, you might wonder right, what is antisocial? Antisocial refers to the situations where one individual often avoids to spend time with other people. He or she is unwilling or unable to associate in a normal or friendly way with other people. In fact, antisocial affects 2% to 4% in men and half to 1% in women of the population. For your information, antisocial also can lead to social anxiety disorder. Additionally, social anxiety disorder is one of the most common of all anxiety disorders. Moving on, why is it related to COVID-19? As we all know, the COVID-19 outbreak has recently reached the status of a global pandemic. The society should comply by governmental rules to avoid spreading contagion. These rules could be associated with the concept of social distancing, namely avoiding contact with others. In such an unprecedented situation, social gathering and display of affection should be considered potentially harmful, while isolation is deemed unselfish. So, we have found a sample data that may open your mind on how obvious COVID-19 has impact our social life. It is an online United States sample with antisocial behaviors during COVID-19 pandemic. With the explosion of the data in graph A, we can see that the increasing of predicted number of times left home, the higher antisocial behavior score recorded. Despite people are still going out to seek for their necessities, surely they still can be socially active with the others like friends or neighbors. But assuredly, the big not like they used to be before the COVID-19 average. I'm sure you are having the same perspective like mine. Before this, you can hang out with your buddies, doing your favorite outdoor activities. So, what about now? We are restricted to do it all. Poorly, people who are experiencing antisocial issues were ready to isolate themselves and factually to know how to communicate properly with others. To sum up, this COVID-19 pandemic firmly can cause the development of antisocial behavior in human's life to increase from time to time. Hey everyone, have you ever felt burned out before? Me, as a student, I've been in that situation before. What exactly burnout is? Burnout symptoms are manifested in much more than just a tiredness and a feeling like you're refusing to attend another class. Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by the excessive and prolonged stress. It occurs when you feel overwhelming stress, emotionally drained, and unable to meet constant demands. As the stress continues, you begin to lose the interest and motivation that led you to take on the certain role in the first place. So, why is it related to COVID-19? It is related to COVID-19 because students who took classes during spring 2020 went through unprecedented upheaval due to the impact of COVID-19 on their higher education experience. Fortunately, we made a Google form for students from the age of 13 to 17 years old with a total of 340 students from different high schools. Here, this is the data that we got from our survey using Google Form platform. The data shows that 48.8% of students are agreed that they feel burnt out and 49.1% of the students disagreed that they are doing great during this pandemic. Half of the data also proved that they feel burdened studying online since this pandemic emerged. This has proven that most of the students who answered our survey are having burnout issues that can lead to the misery of students' lives. This happened to occur because they are not used to the new norms and couldn't cope comfortably with those that are established by the authorities like WHO and the government. For example, the students prefer the face-to-face -face learning because it is more easier to understand like they used to before the pandemic occurred. Thus, we need to stop planning course of actions to prevent the burnout issues among youngsters in the school of worldwide. Hi there! Have you ever felt miserable before? 
I'm sure some of you guys have been in that station before and some of you are wondering what is misery? Misery is a state or feeling of great physical or mental distress or discomfort. Misery is also known as a circumstance, thing or place that causes suffering or discomfort. For example, living during a war without enough water or food or the sadness someone feels after a family member dies. Misery needs to be avoided by all generations to live a happy and better life. So, why misery is related to COVID-19? It is because the profound dilemma interrupted global trade and social activities and enormously influenced daily life through social distance and confinement. The outbreak of COVID-19 has exacerbated human misery due to the crippling of economies globally. It increased the number of poverty in the nation. However, we made a research about pandemic misery index ranking across countries during COVID-19 pandemic. From the index, we can find the United States has the highest misery cases across countries, which is over 40% cases out of the total cases across countries around the world during COVID-19 pandemic. Misery occurs because during the pandemic COVID-19, many people lost their job and become unemployed. It is due to the crippling of economies globally and increased the number of poverty in the nation. Some of them even need to close their shop or company due to the loss of customers during the COVID-19 pandemic. We can conclude that most of the countries around the world face the misery problem that increases the number of poverty in the nation caused by the pandemic. COVID-19 has impacted a lot of different things in our daily life. In this case, we talk about our recent social life. These are obviously bad for all of us and we must aware and do the right things. So here I am, giving you ways to adapt these social issues that caused by COVID-19. Firstly, we can learn to emphasize a balanced and healthy life to live, especially in the recent situation of COVID-19. So number one, take care and look after ourselves. In order to achieve a balanced lifestyle, we must make sure that we are healthy. Our body needs plenty of rest, exercises and healthy food. It is important to take some time off from a busy life and enjoy activities that we love. Number two, be organized. It is important to keep a clean one plan in the last a long time for our tasks and make room for activities we love. Fun fact, being organized can help us to reduce overwhelming stress. Number three, set goals. Achieving goals can help us assist with gaining a positive mindset. Our goals can cover anything from our job, finances or fitness goals. Number four, Eat healthy food. It is important to keep your body healthy because our body needs healthy food and nutrients to create new cells, take toxins, also to make sure organs function properly. Ensure that we get our three meals a day that consists of carbohydrates, vitamins, proteins, minerals, and also fats. This can help us to improve our diet and lead to a balanced lifestyle. Moving on, secondly, we can encourage ourselves to gain a positive way of thinking. Number one, practice forgiveness. Forgiving people is the best thing that you can do to learn how to be grown up and you will realize that everyone makes mistakes. We should be forgiving to give positive perspective towards everyone. Number two, express gratitude. We tend to feel down because we keep comparing ourselves to someone who's better than us. We can start feeling miserable about it with expressing gratitude. So, be grateful with our life. And number three, employ a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset will make us be more open-minded and make us have more positive assumptions against complicated circumstances. Last but not least, it is important to practice self-kindness in this pandemic of COVID-19. Number one, work on boundaries. We compromise our boundaries in order to please others or to help them to feel more even comfortable. We should emphasize more about ourselves because we are allowed. We can say yes and no depend on ourselves and our own opinion. Number two, Compassion over criticism. We are allowed to make mistakes because it can help us to learn and make progress. And criticizing also when we make a mistake doesn't achieve anything except to make us feel even more useless. So treating ourselves with kindness can help us to see where we went wrong and to grow and also improve the mistakes that we made. Number three, recognize our achievements. Recognizing our achievements will make us feel less pathetic and realize that we are not that bad and we can do better soon. Being kind to ourselves isn't just about doing things, it is also about recognizing and being proud of ourselves for the things that we have done. Overall, it may be said that no matter how hard it is for us to adapt this rough going of COVID-19, remember that we have solutions for every problem and nothing is impossible. You are not alone and as a human, we need each other to survive. No one stands alone, we help each other to live a better life. So that's all from Sekolah Mingga Sains Tengah Thank you for lending us your ear.